Hey guys and welcome back to the Hefty Strength Co channel. Um, took a bit of a break there but we are back and this is the first episode of a new idea that I have had and this is something I've always wanted to do really and that is coming on and dumping my um, strongman thoughts and knowledge on you guys because not many people want to listen to me talk about it and I really like to talk about it. So this series hopefully it keeps going if you guys like it it will keep going um it's just going to be me giving my thoughts on what is going on in the strongman world right now whether that be recapping competitions giving my predictions and other people's predictions on upcoming events um one-off attempts uh competitions just the whole thing. Um, if there's big news within the sport, I'll hopefully try and bring that to you guys as well. And it's generally just going to be somewhere where I can talk about Strongman. And hopefully you guys enjoy listening to that. But I'm just going to basically start off by giving the recap of the last few shows that we've missed. Um, since everything's really started up again. Um, and then give my predictions for the two events coming this weekend. Um, there's one on the Friday and one on the Saturday. So yeah, essentially that's what's going to happen. Right, so... I've just been talking to the camera for over 30 minutes and I've just gone back to finish it. And uh, none of it recorded. So yeah, um, bit of a change here. I'm just going to really... I did give like a breakdown on, you know, great performances and all that good stuff from the previous shows. And then I gave my predictions and whatever for this weekend and give a bit of insight and all this stuff. But I'm just. Anyway, so quickly just going to rattle through these results because I did blather on a little bit in my previous take, so it was all part of the plan, it's all good. Now you're getting a more refined, more fine-tuned version of what was probably gonna be a pile of poo anyway. So, Royal Albert Hall, first show of the Giants Live season this year, first show back in big arenas, phenomenal venue. Shannon and I were there. So, winner of that show, Alexei Novikov, second, Evan Singleton, third was Iron Bibby. Notably, Iron Bibby also got the world record axle, 217 kilos. Um, he was allowed three attempts on it, which was controversial at the time, but to be honest, I didn't see a problem in it because he was the only real contender for it. It would have been different if there was maybe two guys and they were going head to head and both of them had failed two attempts and one of them got a third attempt and the other one didn't. That, I can get that there'd be a problem with that, but he was the only guy even close to getting the record. He was out on his own, only real competitor there why not let him have a third attempt? And he got it, and the crowd loved it, and it's a moment for history. So it's a win-win for everybody. Absolutely. Well done to Iron Bibby, and well done to all the other guys there, especially Big Laws. My coach, who retired in that show, phenomenal performance, went out on his shield, couldn't ask for more, in front of that crowd and everything. Wow, what a way to lead the sport as an absolute legend, an icon, and all that crazy good stuff and amazing things he's done in his career. So yeah, credit to him, and yeah, on with the next show. So two weeks after that, we had Manchester, which was the next big Giants Live show. Um, the world record deadlift, uh, or sorry, the world deadlift championships happened at that show. Um, unfortunately, nobody broke the 505 kilo mark, but if you watch the show, seven guys pulled over, or sorry, pulled a thousand pounds or more which is unheard of. It's unbelievable. Just phenomenal, phenomenal performance from all the guys. Nobody, nobody pulled less than 425 kilos. So yeah, just think about that for a second. And wow. Uh, Ivan Makarov won the show though with a 475 kilo pull, which is ridiculous. And he did give 505 a good crack. Um, so yeah, it's there. It really is there. It's not this ridiculous number anymore. It's like not mythical or anything. It's it's going to fall eventually. It's just a matter of time, really. Um, but yeah, fair play to those two guys. Unfortunately, didn't get it on the night. But hey-ho, 
show goes on. Evan Singleton won that show. Um, Alexei Novikov came second and Adam Bishop came third. So you'll notice Novikov and Singleton both making their second podium there, swapping places between the two shows. Yeah, big things coming for those two guys. Oh, then on to the Shaw Classic over to the States. Brian Shaw put on his own show this year. And as a legend of the sport, he's now becoming a legend in promoting the sport because I don't think any other show right now tests athletes this like even comparably. It is just standalone in its brutality. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say really. It, there's nowhere to hide. 16 athletes, no chance of guys not getting through uh, based on grip stages, pull stages and eight events across two days there's nowhere to hide two max events um well yeah you, you have to be the strongest guy to win this show and that man was trey mitchell the third from texas um who better for it what a guy i'm really happy to see him winning a big like you know international title um hopefully it's a sign of things to come for the near future for that guy because I think everyone who follows the sport loves Trey. He is just, what a dude. Second in that show was Brian Shaw. I think, unfortunately he didn't win it, but I think it was for the best because winning your own show two years in a row, it would, it would put you up for a lot of criticism, I think. Um, third in that show was JF Karan. Not surprising. Um, JF is just, JF is just, he is just phenomenal. Um, what a guy, just the best. I'm gonna say that a lot probably through this video, it's just JF is the best, Luke is the best, Trey is the best, Evan's the best, Brian's the best. Mateus. <clears throat> so the following week we saw the guys go to Europe's Strongest Man, which was in Leeds. Shannon and I also made it to this show, which was just phenomenal. Yeah, the World Logriff Championship happened at this one. Uh, you had Hicks, Luke and Bibby, the big three guys going for the world record. Unfortunately, Bibby wasn't able to make it. And due to various technical issues, the world record didn't even nearly fall. The highest um, lift in the night was 195 kilos. So that's a huge weight, but not... It's not really standoutish anymore, to be honest. It's quite pedestrian, really. Um, but we know that those guys are capable of much, much more. Anyway, it meant that the guys had more energy to go on with the rest of the show. Luke Stoltman is your new Europe's Strongest Man. Who better for it, really? Um, again, the best. Uh, Luke Stoltman probably is my favourite strongman, really. I do love him to bits. And getting to meet him after the show was pretty special um and yeah just what a what a character what a great winner really what a champion um second on that show Alexei Novikov no surprise there based on his current form that is just you know three three giants lives three podiums you know not so bad and third place in that show was Graham Hicks now that's a phenomenal performance from Graham because he had not competed in I believe two years he had competed in the Shaw Classic the week before. Everybody knows how brutal that show was. And then he came in and came third in Europe against a decent lineup of athletes as well. So absolutely fair play to Hicks. There is no reason why he cannot push on from that and start going for those big international titles. That wraps up the results so far in the major um, competitions we've seen this year other than World's Strongest Man. Um, there are two more shows this weekend. Friday, we see the Woos uh, Dubai show. And then Saturday, we see the Glasgow Giants Live show. Um, both stacked lineups, class events. It's going to be a real, real, real fantastic weekend for the sport. Um, you've also got the Devon Larratt and Thor fight. i um, not going to get into that, really. Um, all I really have to say there is Thor had better win. And he had better win convincingly. Otherwise, Eddie Hall is going to be laughing, I think. So, introducing it at the Woos competition, World Autumn and Strongman in Dubai. The events are Log for Reps, Yoke for Distance, Farmer's Walk for Speed, Mystery Event, 
and their classic 10 stone atlas one. No, those are some very interesting, um, very interesting events. Um, yoke for distance is something I don't think anyone has seen in a competition before, but it's going to be brutal. It's going to be a real kind of, you'll see a lot of tactics playing out there. Um, and then the mystery event has been revealed at this point as a sled push pull type thing. Um, apparently it will look much more impressive than it sounds, which I don't doubt because Wuss put on some pretty cool shows. But yes, it is some kind of heavy push into a drag um, for fastest time, I would imagine, or distance. So Ethan has given me his predictions as JF to be the winner of this. Um, Mateusz and then Novikov coming on the podium uh, in no particular order. Shannon has said Mateusz wins and Novikov and Janashe come on the podium. Um, both of those are completely fair. Um, haven't talked about it yet, but Mateusz is making his comeback in this show. Apparently he's on form and these events almost look like they've been made for him. So that's going to be very interesting, I think. Who do I think is going to win? I want Mateusz to win. I don't think JF is going... On paper, at first glance, the events look good for JF, but then you realize it's a log for reps. He's not the best overhead. And the Farmers and the Mystery event are both going to be for speed. And he's not the fastest guy out there. He's phenomenal at those two events but he's not the fastest. So I think my predictions are going to be closer to Shannon's with Mateusz winning, hopefully, Novikov and Janasha coming on podium just because Novikov is going to be battered from the other shows he's been doing. And I want Mateusz to win. So yeah, Mateusz, Novikov, Janasha. Giants Glive Glasgow, which is on Saturday of this week. We have the nickel stones, we have log for reps, we have the axle deadlift, we have the car walk, and we have the castle stones, which are the lighter stones um, because of the frequency and the volume of competition that the guys are having to do at the minute. Um, they're just trying to give them a bit of a break, really. Um, but I think the heaviest stone is still 180 kilograms or something, which is insane. Um, so for this show, Ethan has said, Luke Stoltman wins. And then Tom Stoltman and Trey Mitchell are your podium fillers. Um, fair enough. I think whenever you think of it as a Giants Live Glasgow show, it's easy to think that the British guys are going to come and dominate. But I don't see that happening, actually. The, the guys from the States are coming over in force. You've got Evan Singleton, Trey Mitchell, Maxime Boudreau, Kevin Ferris, all coming over for this show. I think, I think the guys from the US are, are coming to win this. They have competed less and they're all on phenomenal form. Um, so yeah, Shannon thinks Evan wins, Kevin Ferris second, or sorry, not second, Kevin Ferris and Trey Mitchell on the podium with him. I think that's fair enough actually. Both of them are fair enough, but yeah. Personally, I see Evan winning. I think Luke Stolman is podiums. And I want Kevin Ferris to podium, so I'm going to say that. I think with Tom will probably be in there, but he had COVID recently, so who knows how that's affected him. He hasn't competed in a while, so it might be fresh, but he also might be rusty. Luke says he's coming in to win this. He is also on a big, big BDE of winning Europe's Strongest Man, and he has that serious belief in himself now. So, yeah, I think Evan wins. Looks, Luke and Kevin Ferris on the podium. But I wouldn't be surprised if anybody else was on there, to be honest, because the lineup is stacked for this show. Um, also happening this weekend... The log press world record attempt by Iron Bibby. He wasn't able to make it to Leeds, unfortunately. Um, so Graham and Luke both said that they'd be happy enough for him to attempt it this week. And we'll see if he can win the championship and then take the world record potentially as well. 
So, Ethan has said Baby does get the record. Shannon has made no comment, which means she's automatically wrong. And I didn't think Baby had it in him, but I really want him to. And I saw he put up a big, big number in training recently, and he just seems a bit more kind of like composed, a bit more professional at the minute. So I'm going to say Bibby does get the record this this weekend, gets the 230 and pushes that log record up for Luke to then come in and break it because Luke's the best thing that has ever been. So yeah, that about wraps it up, guys. Um, hopefully you have been able to stick it to this point in the video, just me talking rubbish about Strongman because that's what this channel is pretty much about. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what I did there. If not, let us know. Um, let me know any changes. Let me know other things you'd like me to talk about. If there's local things around you you think need a mention, if there's big news that you think I might not have heard, please let me know. Please let us know in the comments. Get in, like DM us on Instagram, whatever. Um, and just help us kind of shape where this kind of series is going to head towards because it's something I'm going to really enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoy listening to me enjoy it. Um, so yeah, 100% guys. Um, thanks for making it this far in the video, if you have. Um, again, hefty merch is always available. Go get some, because there's no reason you shouldn't. Um, follow us on Instagram. Get involved on Facebook. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. And we'll hopefully catch you in the next video.